New at six tonight, money is tight in a lot of school districts. We just talked about how DeKalb is cutting jobs. So how does Cobb County have 16 million to spend on athletic fields? CBS Atlanta Steve Kuz is asking the tough question. Why isn't the district spending that money on teacher or student needs? Stephanie, we are live in Cobb County, and I want to say we took a look at several different high school athletic fields in the area, many of them muddy, torn up, just worn out. The school district says they are better off astroturfing those fields altogether rather than repairing them. But with Cobb County schools so strapped for cash these days, we wanted to know, is that a smart decision and even a legal one at that? This patchy, worn out high school athletic field doesn't have a lot of green, and neither does the Cobb County School District. Despite the lack of money, though, the school district still wants to spend $16 million on astroturfing fields like this. Why is it that the installation of artificial turf in football stadiums is more important for education in this county as opposed to textbooks, new computers, safer school buses? That's the main controversy surrounding these fields. Trevor Heestand is representing a man suing the district for what he says is the improper use of school funds. Cobb County voters passed a special sales tax in 2008 to directly benefit the schools. Spending millions for artificial turf fields at all the high schools was on the approved list of projects. It is our position that under current Georgia educational law that these funds have to be designated and used for educational purposes. Cobb County Schools says there is nothing illegal about spending 16 million on the athletic fields, even as the district is expecting a huge budget shortfall of about $100 million. In this specific case, these synthetic turf fields are used for uh, educational purposes, everything from physical education classes to all types of activities that we use the fields for day in and day out. So there's no way we could take this 16 million and put it towards other projects that some people might think are more important? No, unfortunately the law, um, well not necessarily unfortunately, but the law states very clearly that when you approve a SPLOST or sales tax referendum you have to designate which specific projects the money will be used for and you can only use it for those specific projects. For now, the courts will decide what the money can and cannot be used for. Cobb County Schools had planned on buying and installing those AstroTurf fields in the coming months, but they are now stalled until a Superior Court judge says otherwise. A court date for that case has not been set between a showdown between the lawyers and the school district. We're live in Cobb County. I'm Steve Kuj, CBS Atlanta News. You're watching CBS Atlanta News. We ask the tough questions.